last year, Cincinnati won by 20 at home. This year, it's going to be a lopsided win for Xavier in their building. And now, an altercation, and this is the last thing you want to see. The bench is clear. With nine seconds to go in a blowout. There's the goal. Nancy Gates is in the middle. Punches are being thrown. Mark Lyons has something to say, too. And out of midcourt, Kenny Freeze is bloody. And he's hurt. Justin Martin doing whatever he can to hold Des Wells back as well. And I think they're going to end the game right here. The game is over. The Cincinnati players still aren't leaving the floor. And two Holloways up on the scorer's table, wolfing at the crowd. What the two coaching staffs have to do right now is you gotta get the teams off the floor. I totally agree. It's a dangerous situation right now. Andre Walker is still at midcourt, and you still have Cincinnati players walking to midcourt. Cooler hands have to prevail. And unfortunately, we saw this coming. Two Holloway runs by Cincinnati's bench towards the end of the game, and it's Jack Jaw Jacket. That's what ends up happening. Unfortunate finish. So Dana had a lot of emotion. Take a look and see where this all began with only nine seconds to go in a lopsided game. Watch it right here. And it's Mark Lyons, I think. Mark Lyons and Keelan Gwynn, those two squared off at the start of the game. During the national anthem, they were whooping at one another. I think not. And Kenny Freeze got hit and hit hard in the middle of that scrum as this thing exploded quickly. And I think that was actually too Holloway. And Gwen, that, that squared off. Maybe it was. From that angle, all the way in the corner, it was hard to tell. And then Yancey Gates threw at least three or four punches. A couple of Xavier players came back with punches as well. And the officials are over at the scorer's table reviewing the brawls. And the Xavier players are finally leaving the floor as the two teams end up going down the same tunnel, I believe, here at the Centile Center, as their locker rooms are not that far apart. The officials are reviewing, but... Just an unfortunate situation, and... Hope someone checks on them. Kenny Free here, and it is Holloway. It yeah, is Holloway and Gwynn. Holloway and Gwynn. And then Des Wells came over. Or check that, Justin. Was it Martin or no? It was Des uh, Wells. Des Wells. Came over and kind of gave a blindside shot to Gwynn. And that started it all. Well. That's just a shame that that's the way it had to end. There's Aaron Williams. Hey, he's trying to get in the middle because Aaron is as big as all of them. Trying to hold back Yancey Gates. Wow. Just hate the fact that these, these guys have to end this way. Just unfortunate, Bob. And you understand the, the frustration of Cincinnati. But that's two Holloway with a freshman from Cincinnati. You've got to be smarter than that in that situation. Right here, these two are going at it. Xavier's already won the game, and then comes another freshman, Jez Wells, to instigate the issue. Yeah, with a game that's long decided, 
nine seconds to go in the game. And you get Gwyn and Holloway kind of going chest to chest, nose to nose. That's just the macho showmanship garbage right. that, to a certain extent, has invaded today's sports landscape more so than we were growing up. And you don't need it. And in a rivalry game where tempers could very easily flare, again, the macho, I'm going to show you on that tough whooping that has become kind of part of today's sports culture sometimes leads oh, to goodness. moments like this. And boy, that was a shot from Yancey Gates to wow. Kenny Freeze. And it just dropped Freeze. And Freeze got cut and almost ended up at the bottom.